Hallo meine Freunde, willkommen zurück zu unserem Let's Play von Chicken Police Painted Red. Mein Name ist Seven Egg. Schön, dass ihr da seid. Und wir sind immer noch am Hafen, an den Docks, nach unserem Erlebnis auf dem brennenden Schiff. Gerade mal so entkommen, herausgefischt durch Cam Marsh. Und jetzt wieder froher Dinge und ich würde sagen, die ganze Sache wird immer persönlicher. Das eine ist natürlich die Ex-Frau, das ist schon extrem persönlich, aber ja, uns nach dem Leben zu trachten, auch das nehmen wir sehr persönlich. Beim letzten Mal haben wir festgestellt, wir haben nur ein, zwei Kratzer mit abbekommen und wir werden jetzt zu Bubo gehen, Bubo in seiner Wohnung ist bekannt als so einer der Dogs hier in der Gegend, der ab und an auch mal jemanden zusammenflickt, der nicht gemeldet werden möchte. Ich denke, das trifft sich gut. Hier sind wir auf dem Weg. Los Gates zu Bubos Wohnung. Bubo used to work at the PD as a coroner and pathologist. Then a couple of limbs and organs went missing, and the morphine stock suspiciously depleted, so the force said goodbye to him. He then set up a private practice, but lost his license pretty quick. Now he's doing something that vaguely resembles medicine. Fixing up gangsters and bent coppers. Or pigeons like us. I haven't seen the doc since he had to pick a dozen pellets out of my drumstick. Thanks, Marty. Yo, das sind genau die Freunde, die man braucht. Die ab und an mal auch eine Kugel aus dem Flügel entfernen oder aus dem Schenkel. Und Marty, nochmal danke. Schrot ist nicht nett. Und wir sind jetzt schon unterwegs in Kapitel 3 und nähern uns damit vermutlich dem Höhepunkt. Okay, auf jeden Fall dem Höhepunkt im Ende. Ich meine, zurückgehen wir ja nicht. Vorwärts immer, rückwärts nimmer und jetzt auf vorwärts zum Dock. Well, well. Look who the cat dragged in. The one and only chicken coppers in the rotting flesh. Good evening to you too, old owl. Oh, has he shot you again? Not yet. Ha ha, it is to laugh. I just need a strong painkiller. And since we're already here, some information too. Well, then I hope your pockets are full. We just crawled out of the river. So if it's all right with you, I can pay with a pocket full of mud. Well, I owe you one anyway. One? Don't make me laugh, Bubo. You're indebted to us for the rest of your life. Okay, okay, tell me what's wrong and do it fast. It's a busy night. On New Year's Eve, animals love to shoot or even eat each other. Ah, tell me about it. Tonight's starting to remind me of the bloody New Year's Eve. Or worse. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Did you come here to cry me a river? Spit it out. Then get your wobbly waddles out of here. Ursula will be home soon. Charming as ever, old bird. Ein netter Vogel. Ein richtiger Bossvogel. Ich würde würd sagen, der hat schon drauf. Wobei, ja. Was haben wir hier? Auf, als erstes. Who's next? Von Meredith H. Marble. Ein Chicken Police Roman. Gut, dass wir den auch gefunden haben. Das ist da die sehr vielversprechende Operationsliege. Das, naja gut, das könnten Hühnchen sein. Skelett, Zeichnungen und ja, Wissenschaftskram. Genau. Dann würde ich sagen, wir starten da. Let's do science. Ich, like in the cave of the vampire bat in those horror movies. You're right. I think all of these are illegal. Or worse. Occult magic. Demonology. Perverse desires. Unholy dealings. 
Would you two shut the clock up? Na gut, hat doch mal ein bisschen Spaß haben. Okay. Ja. What do you think? Is this a medical illustration or the good doc's dinner? Unfortunately, the two are often one and the same. Ugh. Yeah. Sonstige Dinge, die wir hier noch sehen. Ein Klavier. This is just for decoration, right? Somehow I can't picture you playing the classics. It's Ursula's, not mine. She plays beautifully. I can imagine. Hey, shut your beak or I'm gonna sew it shut for you. All right, calm down. Was ist los, Doc? Dunkles Zimmer. Das haben wir Angst vor. Do you keep the dead bodies and your stolen morphine stash here? The morphine's long gone. Oh, poor Bubo. Watch your beak, Martin. Ooh. Ich mag auch ein Skelett mit Who's that? Who? Oh, he's my father. Your what? Why are you so surprised? He gave his body to science. Then what's he doing here? Hoo 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 hoo. You're a hilarious guy. <laughs> That was a good one, Sonny. Yeah, thanks. Huh. Two infantile monkeys. Ich gebe zu, ich mag Hugo. Der trifft genau mein Humor. Bubo is my head. Oh, yuck. It's soaked with blood. Fresh blood. I was operating on someone a few minutes ago. Totally sober, huh? More or less. Probably less. My hands tremble if I don't drink, okay? Just leave me alone. So, Mr. Bubo, we unterhalten uns jetzt ein bisschen. You look pretty good, old man. You want a formaldehyde diet? Huh. Your humor hasn't changed. Worn and out of style. Just like you, Bubo. Spit it out. What do you want from me? I have a busy night. Busy? I had to patch up two muscle heads a few minutes ago. Of course, they ran off and didn't pay. What muscle heads? Wait, let me guess. A ram and a bobcat. How did you know? Shit. What was that problem? Why did they come here? The bobcat's hand was badly burned and something had sliced the ram. Well, it's not an easy job to haul two unconscious roosters onto an abandoned ship and then set it on fire. What have you gotten yourselves into again, you fools? Those two work for Ibn Wessler. Yeah, don't say. Well, in this case, it was nice to know you, gentlemen. Don't celebrate in advance, Doc. As you can see, we're not so easy to kill. Just tell us everything you know. And give us some strong painkillers. Well, all right. Ask away. But I must warn you. If Ursula comes home and sees you here, She'll either kick you out or maul you to death. Okay, dann unterhalten wir uns mal mit Bubo. Joking aside, how are you, Doc? Long time no see. Oh, you should get shot more often than you'd see me more. Yeah, right. I'm on it. I'm still alive. Clawville's still standing, to my surprise. Ursula still bears with me, to my even greater surprise. What else can I say? You don't need anything else then, right? You know, I could use a big house, a normal job, and a ton of money. And it'd be great if that ridiculous King Hector would finally resign from the throne. So you still support the Separatists? Wow, this old owl's heart is beating. But your life partner is a bear. Mm, not a problem as long as I don't marry her. You're a goddamn hypocrite, Bubo. Why, thank you. What does this tell you, Bubo? That you tore off the corner of a painting 
Not that. What do you make of it? That somewhere a painting is missing a corner. Don't cluck with me, old man. I'm not. I'm completely serious. Then, thanks for the help. <sighs> Don't mention it. Ich mag Bubo, das sagte ich schon, oder? Das ist... Wow. Love is still in the air, I see. I'm a prisoner, boys. <laughs> yeah, the prisoner of your stupidity. Easy for you to say. You can't get rid of a woman like her so easily. Why? Because she's a bear and weighs a ton? No. Because no matter how much I hate her, I still love her more than anything. Oh, touching. Hold your tongue, McChicken. What do you know about Madame Zavas and her affairs? Zavas, huh? Who? That woman's probably even more dangerous than Ibn Wessler himself. Oh, great news. Is there some kind of link between them? Ibn's contacts span the entire city, and his new girlfriend, that Natasha, worked in the brothel once. How do you know that? Everybody knows. Oh, great. We almost died for that information. Why didn't you ask? Just shut up, okay? Okay, Bubo. Alles Haus. So that Ram and his partner, did they talk about something? About their plans, where they're going next? The Bobcat didn't say a word, he just growled. But the Ram couldn't shut up, and he talks like a butler or something. He's got a very strange vocabulary, I must say. What did they say, Bubo? Get to the point. After they've done the job killing you, I guess, they said they have to kill a rat, too. A rat? Figuratively. An informer. Someone who spilled the beans and hurt Mr. Wessler's interests. An informer? They called him a sneaky little bastard, too, if that helps. That's gotta be Zip. Of course. Zip. Damn it. Well, then that flea bag's done for. Hold your horses, Marty. Zip is like a cockroach, practically immortal. I guess. We gotta help him then. I'm afraid you're right. We still owe him one. One? I didn't even hear that, Bubo. So, who tried to get us out of the way, and why? Wer wollte uns beseitigen und warum untersuchen? Also, Deborah denke ich nicht. Bubo möchte uns, glaube ich, auch nicht. Ich sehe Ibben und Savers relativ weit vorne. Ich denke, Ibben möchte uns beseitigen. Und vielleicht auch Savers. Die beiden. Auf jeden Fall. Arbeiten Sie zusammen. Maybe Zavos is in cahoots with Eben Wessler. Das wäre doch eine Variante. So, jetzt ist die Frage. Warum? Weiß du nicht so recht, ob Typen Informant ist. Molly nicht. Was haben wir noch? Nataschas Geheimnis. Stimmt. Miss Kitsenko hat auch noch ein Geheimnis. Die Frage ist: Weiß wer von den beiden. But why? Just because Natasha used to work at that place? Hm. 
Nee, das passt nicht. Eben hat versucht, Natascha zu töten, weil sie in einem Bordell gearbeitet hat. Nein, das passt nicht. Eben möchte Nataschas Geheimnis nicht enthüllen. Das würde eher zu ihm passen. Eben Wessler wants to hide the tracks leading to Natasha's past. Or maybe it was Natasha herself. Das halte ich für sinnvoll. Und der entscheidende Hinweis ist die Karte, oder? Hä? Also siebt die Ratte. Das ist die Frage, wenn jeder das weiß. But what does it have to do with Zip? Why do they want to kill the raccoon? Zip knows something or has something that can unveil Natasha and Ibn's secret. We need to find out what it is. Stimmt, er hat über Ding gebrochen. Jo, das sollte, das dürfte relativ klar sein, denn Ibn hat ja auch über die Fleischgeschichte gewusst, die Fleischersatzgeschichte. Sonny, there's something else. Your car is here behind the building. Ursula covered it with a tarp. What? Why? She saw it in front of the brothel. And she also saw the madam's girls trying to take it apart. Furry gods. What did she do to them? Well, a couple of dames with guns are not enough to scare my dear Ursula, that's for sure. But relax. She didn't tear them to pieces. She just chased them off and got away with your car. You know, for once, that's wonderful news. Yeah. I wore my legs down to get here. Warmest regards to Ursula when she gets back, Doc. She may have saved our lives. <sighs> of course I will. Now, cluck off, will you? Ah, you're the best, Bubo. I know. Will you kindly get lost? Okay. That's was mit Bubo. Das war's mit dem Skelett. Das heißt, wir haben jetzt das Auto und wir sollten aufbrechen. Oh, es gibt so viele Locations, wo wir nochmal hin können. Ich denke, wir gehen jetzt zuerst mal ins Wochenende. Wir gehen nochmal alle ab. Und dann geht's hier jetzt ins Hop Dog. Und zuerst ins Wochenendhaus. Ah, we're busted, boss. Yeah, the boys were quite fast, I admit. Ah, what are we gonna tell them? Any chance we were just joyriding around here? Not much. That's why they're gonna believe it. You think so? Just watch and learn, Cub. Ach, guck mal da. Bilisso, Bosco und die ganze Truppe. Hey, boys. I see you're working hard. Hey, what about you? What the hell are you doing here? And we were just driving through when we saw the party. And who are you trying to feed that bullshit to? Yeah, we're not eating that shunny. This isn't your neighborhood. So, out with it. Why are you here? Pull back the spikes. What's going on? Just fill us in, fellas. Oh, young girl, around 25 to 30 years old. Pretty? Some kind of doe or something? Impala, you moron. I she was an Impala indeed, fellas. Wait, how do you know that, Marty? One of the officers mentioned it. Don't blow your top, okay? Carry on. We don't have all night. So, the girl was naked. There's no trace of predation. We don't even know how she died. It's the coroner's day off. Huh. Another thing that only happens in Clawville, huh? Which reminds me, what are you even doing here? We're securing the area. Yeah, I can see that. I beg your pardon, Marty. I said, have a nice time doing nothing, boys. I mean, securing. Ah, Senor Helden. Why do you seem so guilty to me, boys? 
Even your combs don't look right. <laughs> You're imagining things again, Phyllis. You must have stood out in the rain for too long. You need a nice hot cup of joe. Change the subject, are we, Rooster? We're keeping an eye on you, you know. Wow, that gave me the shivers. You too, Sonny? Now that you mention it, yeah, pretty much. <lacht> Yo, das sind Helden. Was ist mit Bosco? Sorry, guys. Crime scene. You can come in if you want, Marty. But unfortunately, Sonny counts as a civilian. It's all right, Bosco. We understand. Anyway, I don't think whatever's in there would surprise us much. What? Why'd you say that? Oh, nothing, nothing. We've just heard what's going on. It's one ugly case. Yeah, she was young and full of life. At least I think so. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm too old for this shit, you know. Well, what are you doing here anyway? I heard there wasn't any predation here. It's a simple murder case, isn't it? Yeah, it would be. But the city's too busy tonight. We simply don't have enough officers on duty to cover everything. Sound familiar? Yes, it does. So everyone's doing everything, eh? And nothing. Not what they should, anyway. But you know, I'm not even here. I just stepped in to take a look at the case for the boss. I'm already heading back to the PD. We just happen to be around here, too, so uh, we'll be on our way now. See you soon? Yeah, afraid so. Okay. The Bloody New Year's Eve for Chicken Police Story. Ein weiterer unserer Romane nehmen wir noch mit. The rain's not gonna wash that off, I'm sure. No, it won't. Not for my mind, anyway. Should we blow out the tires, boss? What the hell's gotten into you, Marty? Huh? Should we blow out the tires? What the hell's got? Huh? Marty, 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 was hast du denn mit der Fee Ideen? Aber gut, wir wissen jetzt ein bisschen mehr Bescheid. Was haben wir noch an Hinweisen? Mal ein bisschen. Rate zu erledigen, dann. Das, das sind nochmal die Punkte, die wir beim letzten Mal hatten. Ja. Natascha das Wochenendhaus abzusichern. Super. Was müssen wir noch? Also wir waren noch bei Bubo. Das ist seine Freundin Ursula. Ansonsten, so also der Captain. Ihr wisst, ihr könnt immer wieder das Video stoppen und euch die entsprechenden Texte durchlesen. Die Person. Hier ist noch jemand, den wir nicht kennen. Aber das macht nicht. Ich denke, hier haben wir alles gesehen. Wir fahren weiter. Eines Hauptdog will ich noch nicht. Ich will noch mal in den Star Club. Well, looks like the party's over. Yeah, it looks like it. And just when I was starting to get into the mood. Damn it, I thought I was gonna see you shake a tail feather tonight, boss. Yeah, let's not go that far. Oh, das sind unsere Freunde, Louis, Ladies und Morty. I could already smell you, boys. Ah, hello, Morty. What's up? Are you lost, old lizard? Me? <laughs> lost? <laughs> no way. If I'm not mistaken, your rickety little shack isn't this way, Morty. It's uh, miles away from here. Don't you worry about me, you overgrown eggs. I know where the road's taking me. Jeffy uh, threw you out again, huh? Don't you worry about that either, pal. <laughs> that little bastard. All right, listen, Mort. I'll talk to Lewis for you, okay? Luckily, he's right here. 
Don't bother because of me, sonny boy. It's nothing. I can walk. No worries. I just want your legend to live on, Lizard Wizard. Hat dich etwa jemand auf die Straße gesetzt? Morty. Okay. Hey, Louis. Here again? I just left something here, S -S Sonny, but nothing important. Are you sure everything's all right, Louis? You seem, uh, distracted. I'm fine, S -S Sonny. Don't you worry about me. What are you doing here anyway? You look quite b b battered. Now well, we got both hot and cold tonight, literally and at the same time. But we're alive, and we're hoping maybe we can find Natasha here. I'm s -s sorry, Sonny. I haven't seen her since her p performance. Well, thanks. Uh, keep your eyes open, all right? In my e e ears. Listen, uh, Louis, uh, I need uh, some help. A, a favor. Sonny, you know, for you, anything, my f f friend. Five times a day, even. Okay, okay, I deserve that. So, how can I ha ha assist you again? You know old Morty, right? Uh, 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 yes, I, I know him. <clears throat> Indeed. I know he's not a saint, and he doesn't smell like flowers. His manners are disgraceful. And he drinks a lot? He's friends with weirdos. And he's in and out of jail? So we know he's not an easy character, but he has nowhere to go. And he is an old friend. Or something like that. So, he ne ne needs a room, right? You guessed it, pal. Well, no problem, t t gentlemen. I can ha handle that. Thanks, Louis. Again. I don't know how many times. Much obliged. Don't mention it. One day I'm gonna ask you for a favor in return. Anything, Long Ears. Okay, we have Morty zumindest mal untergebracht. You can bunk at the Atlas with Lewis for a while, Mort, but uh, only on one condition. Tell me, Sunny Boy, anything. Leave that little Chihuahua, or we'll have to pay him a visit and strangle the little rat. Oh, and finally, visit the hospice, okay? They're gonna help you there. <sighs> okay. You convinced me, Bardi. I'll do it. Both? Both. Just leave me alone, okay? <laughs> Take care, Lizard Wizard. Yes. You too. Okay, damit haben wir wenigstens die Hexe irgendwo untergebracht. Was haben wir noch zu Bubo? Achso, da haben wir noch die Personenkarte. I hope we're not going to be on the front page of tomorrow's paper. Well, it depends on the headline. Could be the legendary pairs back together, or the two roosters take down the Wessler Empire. Or the naked bodies of the once famous chicken police were found dead, washed up on the banks of the Times River. Eee, enough, enough, I get it. Sorry, I'm just trying to keep it real. Gee, thanks. So, wir haben noch eine Location, die wir entsprechend probieren. Hello, ladies. Not even what happened to us at the brothel and on the burning ship discouraged you, huh? On the contrary, Sonny. I haven't felt this much alive in a long, long time. All right. You have five minutes. Then we're leaving. Thanks, Dad. But I'm not going to talk to them. You know me. I only conquer from afar and only in my mind ever since Laura turned my head and my world upside down. What a lucky woman, eh? I'm the lucky one. That's for sure. Okay. War trotzdem für ihn. Einmal für Marty. Und nun letzte Location, die wir noch anfahren, bevor wir uns dann ins Hopdog begeben, das Sweltering Nile. Und das Zeitungs Ach, das Zeitungskiosk fehlt auch noch. Okay. Look at what the wind of the sea dragged in. Our girlfriend in the flesh. The 
Can't believe it. Is this guy everywhere? The gull sees farthest who flies highest, Marty. Yeah, that guy's never given up. That's clucking sure. Da treffen wir Mullins und Timothy. Mullin, der Zeitungsverkäufer, hat man noch nicht getroffen. Können wir ganz kurz nachschauen. Ein Biber. Einer der besten Informanten der Stadt. Auch hier liegt wieder eins unserer Bücher, Dead Silent Night. Da ist Timothy, da ist Mullins Wagen. Und ich denke, das ist der Punkt, an dem wir für heute Schluss machen. Wir unterhalten uns morgen mit den beiden, mit dem Pressefritzen und mit Mullins. Und damit bleibt mir für heute nur zu sagen, Tschüss. Bis dann.